Now to a Consumer Reports investigation into PFAS, also known as Forever Chemicals. They're linked to health risks. While the EPA did put new limits on them in drinking water in April, it may surprise you that there are still no federal guidelines when it comes to those same chemicals in food. With reports of PFAS contamination affecting some farms, Consumer Reports scientists took to the labs to find out if our milk supply is safe. Add it to your coffee, pour it over your cereal, or just drink a glass of it. Milk is a staple in practically any fridge. Besides essential vitamins and minerals, there might be something else in milk that's not good for you. A bunch of dairy farms over the years have reported PFAS contamination in their water or their soil, and then subsequently in their cows and then the milk that the cows produce. PFAS are also referred to as forever chemicals because they essentially never break down naturally, have been linked to cancer, immunity and endocrine problems and infertility. PFAS have historically been added to consumer products to make them nonstick, waterproof, stain resistant. And then once PFAS are out in the world, they end up in our water supply, in the fertilizer that farms use, and they end up in our food and they end up in us. To investigate the potential problem, Consumer Reports recently conducted a limited test of 50 samples of whole milk purchased from grocery stores in California, Michigan, New Jersey, Texas, and Virginia, and found PFOS or PFOA, two PFAS, that are most often linked to harmful health effects in only six of the 50 samples, which is good news. But the results also raised some red flags. No one should stop drinking milk based on these findings. However, it does show how our federal food safety agencies and manufacturers are not monitoring for PFAS in milk and other foods and the needs for health protective limits for these harmful chemicals. In response to questions from Consumer Reports, the International Dairy Foods Association said dairy foods and beverages are highly regulated and rely on a verified system to ensure their safety and integrity. Now, we have warned you several times also about PFAS and other products that you may come into contact with. So to limit your exposure, Consumer Reports says to avoid stain and water-resistant clothing and carpets. Also, avoid using cookware that says that it is PTFE-free, such as pans with ceramic coatings. And if you're concerned about PFAS in your drinking water, you know you can use a water filter that's certified to remove them.